This is the theme of Setback in Misery, Buster's Homework, Select Frames. And so then we have a cut to Buster's wife, Virginia. She's still taking calls about Paul Sheldon. And Buster is going to come in and he's going to have like a bag of, um, um, a bag of Paul Sheldon's novels and he and it, it it is for him um she want I mean he wants to know learn all about Paul's thinking and he makes this statement if I can't find find Paul Sheldon at least I'm going to find out what he wrote about so there's this sense that he wants to become a a pursue a mastery orientation of learning about Paul Sheldon because he has been unsuccessful and the physical pursuits and physical strategies of trying to find Paul Sheldon. He's fielded calls, he's returned calls, he's done a number of things. He's visited um, you know, the lodge manager, right? And later when he is suspicious of Annie being possibly the one who has Paul Sheldon at her house, he's gonna go into the general store and talk to the manager. So he's very actively uh, trying to find Paul Sheldon, and so um, um, and the only way now that he knows to really understand Paul Sheldon where he might be is to learn all about him. So we see Buster coming in with the bag, and it's going to be a bag of books, of course. And, you know, there's that door, that entry uh, going back and forth into doors. And this is his office, his sheriff's office, sheriff's office. But it's still interesting that that this door that he's coming into now symbolizes his willingness to learn, willingness to become a master, mastery or pursue a mastery orientation. Whereas when he first gets the call from the agent about Paul Sheldon, uh, he's sitting back um, at his desk with his feet up, kind of comfortable, right? Talks on the phone. When she when she says it's Paul Sheldon, the writer, the author, then he kind of comes up. He jumps up a little bit in his scene and turns around and takes note and actually begin taking notes, things like that. And so there was a sense of urgency there. But this right here is a sense of trying to learn something new the willingness to learn something new. Whereas before when he was going in and out, out of the door, he was operating on his current knowledge of, I don't know, trying to find someone who is lost, right? Even when he visits the site where the car is located, where, where he found it, right? Via helicopter. And then the state trooper um, gives a press conference a makeshift press conference, there was still some willingness in him to understand, okay, um, he didn't get out of this car by himself, right? Someone helped him along. But this right here coming through this door is a is a uh, push towards becoming prepared enough to find Paul Sheldon, not just operating on past understandings about how to find someone, how to locate someone, how to be alarmed about something, but a true pursuit of really trying to understand uh, where this person is, how they thought, and how I would need to proceed or how he would need to proceed. And so that's why it matters uh, when you have a mastery orientation, because even though Virginia is looking through the bag of these um, these books, and she's going to read, pull out some and read uh, a few, um, not read the book, but the cover and the spine and possibly the summary, she's not willing to go beyond that. When they are sitting in bed together one night and he's reading one of those books, uh, she's reading another book, a book completely different from that. And she's supposed to be the deputy sheriff, right? But she's not willing to be a co-participant in the learning process. She follows his lead in terms of when they are trying to search for him and kind of adds a little bit of critical thinking there. But she's not willing to go beyond her current state, which is 
Deputy Sir, uh, Deputy Sheriff just answer phone calls, field any other types of inquiries, right? But he's actually willing to do much more. So she's reading the spine. She's gonna open one of the books, uh, read the summary, and then he's taking off his coat. And to me, you know, this is far-fetched, right? But it is kind of symbolic, uh, or we could make it symbolic, that he's taken off old things. He's taken off old strategies. He's taken off old methods, ways of thinking, that he's so willing to really try to understand and learn about Paul Sheldon, that he's willing to just um, uh, shed anything that might hinder him, because no one wants to read in a coat anyway right? That's the literal interpretation, of course. We don't want to read in a coat, right? We want to get comfortable enough in, in our seat and in our setting so we could read with understanding and not feel hindered. This is no different that he's now embarking on a learning. He's kind of like embarking on a college course, you know, like a college course that, that he's now wanting to learn about Paul Sheldon. And so he's going to shed that old way of thinking, old any other old courses that may not apply to him in this moment, uh, this situation, this context, and he's going to take off the co uh, coat and hang it up because it's an old way of thinking and embrace a new way of thinking to try to understand um, the subject. And so she's reading a little bit, just a good quick skim, right? And this is what I think is symbolic of the state trooper. The state trooper doesn't get any real, um, just specific evidence. He just goes into this little summary. We found the car. Um, uh, he may be trapped out there in the woods. Uh, he, we presume he's dead. Uh, if he's not dead, the animals got him. I mean, he just goes into this little basic skipping summary or whatever, you know, to resolve the problem. There's no urgency in him, even like from the state uh, senators or governors to try to find this person. The reporters are very eager to try to find, find him and find out about him, but the state trooper is not. So Virginia sort of is a parallel to the state trooper. It looks like she's reading the book and trying to get an understanding of it. No, she's skimming. She just sort of maybe looking through uh, one or two pages to get a feel for the language or something like that. But there's nothing in her that says, oh, let me read one of the books and help you try to find out about him. And right here, he is bent over and saying uh, to her that if I can't find Paul Sheldon, at least I need to find out what he wrote about. So he's not even giving into the idea that Paul Sheldon is dead. And that he's still, even though he can't find him in this moment, he's still willing to do something to, to get to the completion of his goal because he set a goal to uh, seek out what's going on with Paul Sheldon to find him, things like that. And now he's enduring the goal through a learning process, right? And he he's not going to be satisfied until he f finishes that goal, which is to actually find him. And he finds him, but it's going to result in his death. So now we have, remember what I said, that it is Buster who is willing to uh, learn about Paul Sheldon, what he wrote about, how he thought. And he's willing to endure a learning process in contrast to his wife, who is reading a different type of book. And this Misery's Trial is actually a different book. So he's probably uh, finished at least one to two, two of Paul Sheldon's books because this looks like a different, um, um, a different cover. But this is what it looks like when you are willing to learn a new way of thinking. Because an old way of thinking of trying to find someone who is lost was not working for him, uh, working for Buster. But this new way of thinking of saying, let me get all of his books. He was willing to put money on the table. He was willing to um, even come home, take a shower, put on his underoos and read this book, even though he's likely tired and time to go to bed, right? 
she's going to be a support system for her for him but she's not engaging with him with the book and asking questions right and so he's going to write something down uh something that catches his attention and that he's going to reveal to us and essentially um it is a quote in the book in the book misery's child uh, trial here that he's going to write down and it is um justice there's a justice higher than that of man and i will be judged by him now he remembers reading that from somewhere or hearing it from somewhere else but he's going to write it down it's kind of like his homework right he's going to read something write it down and then it's going to jog his memory later well that statement there is a justice higher higher than that of man and I will be judged by him is what really connects um, Annie to um, connects Annie to what she says on the courthouse step, uh, steps connects Buster to Annie connects um, Annie to uh, Paul Sheldon because it's in his book and so these are the connections the author and I mean the writer the screenwriter and the director is making it's kind of like um, the sh the narrative is shifting now the narrative is shifting in terms of a true search for Paul Sheldon versus uh, a ceremonial search right that he got to find out where he has heard that particular statement before and so he 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 mumbles to himself the wife realizes that he is mumbling um, that statement that I just uh, said and that he's going to pick up a note um, post-it note and write something and this is him taking down notes as if you know he is learning from Paul Sheldon he's in his own university course so to speak learning from Paul Sheldon and that's what you do when it's time to learn a different way of approaching uh, maybe a similar situation we often think that we're gonna take our same old habits old philosophies old standards ways of thinking to approach um, a situation that we believe is familiar but seasons there are different seasons in life and the way you approach something when it's fall would be a lot different than the way you approach something when it's spring and that's just a simple understanding and so uh again his his standard way of trying to find someone who is lost was not working and so he had to humble himself and say i need to learn this and find out where this man uh what this man is about because maybe it will lead me to him and that statement there is a justice higher than that of man i will be judged by him is a statement that's going to lead him to annie because it's going to jog his memory which will then lead him to paul sheldon all right like subscribe and visit like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell for more discussions you can visit my youtube channel for further film analysis it's favorites film analysis as the title of the channel uh you can always send me an email and ask me a question regina y favorites at yahoo.com my overcoming setback five keys for entering and exiting correction book uh will become available around october 2021 i'm still doing some editing the book does not focus on film analyses but i use uh the content that, that i created for the book to support my um my perceptions of setback used as a theme in select films so when the book becomes available i will send out a notification video audio um thank you very much for visiting the channel